Today, we're going to learn about fossils. Fossils help us learn about past organisms, where and when they lived, as well as how they lived. There is a whole branch of science that studies fossils called paleontology. A person who studies fossils is called a paleontologist. Not everything becomes a fossil. Conditions have to be just right for a fossil to form instead of the organism just quickly decomposing. Protection from scavengers and microorganisms is one important step for fossil development. A fossil can be an actual organism or part of it. This can happen if the dead organism sinks to the bottom of water and is quickly buried by sediment. Water will enter the bones of the organism and dissolve all the calcium carbonate. This process causes the bones to be petrified or turn into a rock-like substance that is preserved. Other types of fossils include molds and casts. An organism could be buried by sediment and that sediment could turn into rock under pressure. Remember sedimentary rock and how it's formed. The skeleton of the organism dissolves and leaves a hole or a mold in the rock in the shape of the skeleton. Other sediment could then filter in and fill the mold, harden, and then form a cast of the skeleton that was there before. A fossil can also be preserved evidence of organism activity. A wormhole, footprint, or burrow can be fossilized and tell us a lot about the organism that made it. We also have fossil fuels, such as oil, gas, and coal. These are formed from the organic remains of very, very old organisms and provide concentrated energy for us to heat our homes and drive cars. Fossils can also help tell the history of the world. Think of your garbage can for a minute. There's an order to your garbage in there, right? What you threw away five minutes ago will be closer to the top than what you threw away two days ago. Scientists use this same idea to figure out relative ages of rocks and fossils. Older layers will be on the bottom and younger on the top. This is called the principle of superposition. Fossils help with relative dating of rock layers, especially if it's a fossilized organism that was on Earth for a short time. Looking at this diagram of rock samples, if we know this fossil is older than this one over here, say these went extinct before these were around, then we know this rock is older than this one because of the type of fossils they contained.